Hi folks, uh, so this is a real quick demo of my new GPT-3 powered Google Sheet, uh, which is called the Low Hanging Fruit Keywords AI. Um, so let me just uh, show you what this does. So uh, I've got a Google Sheet here where I've pulled in um, a whole load of um, data from Google Search Console. Um, so for this particular website, it's showing me all the queries uh, that this site ranks for, which page it is on Google that's coming up, and then a whole load of other data. Now, what I've done here is I filtered this um, to take out any branded terms. I'm not interested in those. And I've also removed um, any search queries where this site is already ranking in the first three positions on Google or below the 20th position, so below page two of the search results. So it only includes everything between positions four and 20. Um, and these keywords very often can provide some really good opportunities because the site is coming up for them, not particularly strong position on Google. And very often, uh, the reason why it hasn't made it into the highest position is because the search query isn't directly relevant to the title of the article. So it might touch on something that's been mentioned within the article or a subheading, but it's not uh, specific to the actual core topic of the article. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna run this uh, tool. So I'm gonna go click here, fetch titles, and that's gonna open up some columns. And the very first thing it's gonna do is pull in the page titles for all these URLs. Um, now, it doesn't need GPT-3 to do that. It's just crawling those pages and pulling in the titles. You can see it does that quite quickly. Um, now, once we've got the titles, the next thing it's going to do, I'm going to click here on Fetch Matches. And in the background, GPT-3 is then looking at the search queries on the left-hand column here in column A. It's comparing the search query to the title of the page. And then once this data comes through, it's going to classify each one of those search queries as either being a strong, medium, or weak match to the title of the page. There we go. That's now brought that data in. So you can see we've got mostly strong matches, um, but we've also got some here that are weak and medium. So next thing I'm gonna do is just quickly go and create a filter on here. And I'm going to select only the strong matches I'm going to remove those from the sheet. Okay, let's get rid of that filter. So what I'm left with are search queries here on column A that are a medium or weak match for the page title. So for example, we've got a search query here, how long should I run to lose weight? Um, and the actual title of the article is how many times a week should I run? Um, so you can see it's classified that as a weak match. So this gives us an opportunity to now go and create a new piece of content specifically based on that exact search query, how long should I run to lose weight, um, which then has a really good chance of driving more traffic to this website. One last little feature, if you click on here and then click Fetch Outlines. And there you go. If we just kind of turn on wrapping here so you can see us a little bit more clearly, you can see it's now created a content outline for each one of those search queries. So introduction, how long to lose weight, health benefits of running for exercise, how running helps you lose weight, and a conclusion. And the big advantage of this, this you know, this is something you could do manually, but if you're doing this with a site that's got thousands and thousands of queries, this allows you to do it quickly, efficiently, and at scale.